Greetings folks, this is the maiden of the Perks 7 designed by Pavel Spachalski uh, and uh, all the 3D parts uh, are designed by him as well. This is my very first FPV quad flight. I have flown GPS quads just pushing them around the sky. This is the first flight uh, with a proper quad. I did test it in the backyard and it almost killed me. It wasn't set up properly. Somehow I'd missed some setting. I'll show you that <laughs> radical footage. Uh, props are all scratched up, but now it's uh, just working properly. I'm using a uh, Matec F722 SE board, uh, individual uh, Hollybro Teco 32 um, ESCs, Gemfan 7x4 props, Brother Hobby uh, 2507 1700kV motors, as recommended by uh, Pavel. If you go to his website, you'll see all the parts recommended there. Here we go, Maiden of the Perks 7 and pretty much my first quad flight. Very little idea of what I'm doing. So far so good. Seems to be behaving. Should I try? I shouldn't try angle mode. I should go for a bit of a fly. So far so good. Try angle mode, should I? This is beginner mode. That's yeah, okay. It's going all right, isn't it? Should I try position hold? There's loiter mode. Oh, that's working okay. bit ugly. I need a better landing set up. Oh, okay. So, I reckon we can give it a go on FPV. Okay, baby steps. I'll start in angle mode because I'm a wuss. Don't be harsh, this is my first flight. Okay, acro mode, it's better. I can get the hang of this. It's going okay. Oh, this is all right. <laughs> Cruising along at about 7 amps. It's pretty cool. 
pretty reasonable video. Should try to return to home. Loiter mode. Loiter mode. Ooh, that looks weird. Can't see a bloody thing. It's looking pretty smooth to me. I have a uh, 2200 4S. Not a particularly good one. Do you need to use a lot more rudder than for planes, don't you? Better test return to home. So I'll go out a ways. Okay, here we go. Return to home. Return to launch. Looking good so far. Going up to 30 metres. Should come home and land. Oh, that's exciting. Here it comes. I'm going to watch it live. Hey, this is good. It's all working. Unbelievable. Here it comes above me. Turning around and coming down. Oops. So I disarmed it there and it just dropped. Well, that's cool. Didn't do any damage. Well, it was a bit dumb disarming it, but uh, we got away with it. Awesome. Motors are barely warm. Battery's barely warm. This is cool. Okay, I'm into it. We've got a fresh 3300 4S now. I'll try a proper takeoff in Acro. Throttle active. There we go, that's how to do it. Bit of wind pushing me back there. Pretty happy with the view in the goggles. Uh, it's, I'm still using analog just so I don't destroy my. Uh, HD camera, uh, but I will change that pretty soon, and that will be pretty mind blowing, I would imagine. And I went for the 7 inch Perx 7 or Birx 7 because I want a, a, a long range cruiser with decent flight times, really. Not really interested in short, mad flights.
Well, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Had one fatality just flying too close to the ground. I wasn't aware of where I was and it sort of hit the ground and broke the antenna off my little uh, cheapo video transmitter, but that's no drama. So yes, I can see what all the fuss about quad flying is about. Um, I think I'll really enjoy it. Uh, it won't replace flying planes for me, uh, but this 7-inch PX7 designed by Pavel Spakalski is a ripper, I think. <laughs> Seems to work very well for me. By the way, I think I'll uh, call them wingless VTOLs rather than quads, because I don't fly quads. Mm -hmm.